Yeah, so their, their understanding is that the father is chasing us as any father would do his son, like Hebrews 12 says. But you notice Hebrews 12 says the father, the earthly father, often does it for his own pleasure according to his different moods. But God is not moody. So God does it for his glory and our good. And that, that's a key thought in the Puritan way of thinking. So when they get afflicted, their first response intuitively is, my father has, has more to teach me, you know, because he's afflicting me. So I'm not saying it was easy for them to submit, but they also had a deeper theology of submission to God's sovereignty than, than we do. And basically it's a four step theology. Think of it as a descending stairway going deeper and deeper. The first step is acknowledging when affliction comes. It's of the Lord, acknowledgement. This is not something that happened to me by chance. Secondly, it goes deeper. They justify the Lord. I deserve only death and hell. It's a wonder I don't have a lot more affliction, right? Thirdly, they go deeper yet. They approve of the Lord. They say the Lord is given, the Lord is taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Or like the Shunammite woman, it is well. My only son is dead at home. I mean, that's very deep. You approve of God in the midst of your greatest afflictions. And then fourthly, they cling to God um, when he seems to come against them as their greatest enemy. They cling to him as their greatest friend. And that's the deepest step of affliction at all. I just say with Job, though he slay me, yet I will trust in him. So acknowledgement, um, justification, uh, approval and clinging. That theology of submission, when I've studied the Puritans, has become very, very precious to me in my own personal life as well. Now, I, I fall away short many times, but I think the Puritans have a theology of submission that goes beyond even most ministers' comprehension. It's a beautiful thing. So when we submit like that, you see, then we really believe that God, God's behind the steering wheel. We're just passengers along for the ride. You know, he's Lord of my life. Let him do to me what seemeth him good. Help us, Lord, to do more of that.